Who killed plate armor? It may come as no surprise that the culprit was the gun. Gunpowder came to Europe via the Silk Roads in the 1200s. By the 1300s, cannons were appearing on European battlefields. During the 1400s, they became so effective that stonewalled castles became obsolete. Firearms took a bit longer to develop. The first handheld guns had to be lit by hand, but after 1500, ignition systems like the matchlock and wheel lock simplified the process. As handheld firearms became easier to use and more powerful, they began to dominate the battlefield. Armor had a hard time keeping up. Armor that was heavy enough to stop a bullet was too heavy to wear on the march. Foot soldiers began to discard parts of the armor, starting with the arms and legs. Horsemen kept their armor longer, since they didn't have to march in the extra weight. By the late 1600s, armor was largely gone from the battlefield, except for siege operations and a few specialized types of cavalry. Today, it is still worn by special units of European honor guards. But a few traces remained. The armor collar, or gorget, continued to be worn as a fashion statement even after the breastplate was abandoned. A reduced version was still in use at the time of the American Revolution as a badge of rank. And the dress uniform of soldiers today still features a shoulder braid that once served to tie a knight's arm armor in place. <laughs>